or this game, which is the first one. Anyway, they made Squawk cheaper in Tropical Freeze because he only costs 10 banana coins. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna try to avoid using those. Hopefully I'll have 99 balloons by the time we get to like world four. If I don't, then whatever, no big deal. But the main reason I wanna do the Kong levels last is because as I said, there's no checkpoints. So it doesn't really matter how many lives you have because <laughs> you know, uh, there's no checkpoints. You start at the beginning every single time. So I don't really wanna waste all my lives on those levels. If I have like 50 lives and it takes me 30 tries, I don't really wanna waste them on the Kong levels until I have nothing left to do. Uh, but we'll see where that takes us. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best to keep an eye out for Kong letters. If I miss any, I may just come back and get them later off screen. I don't really want to repeat a level more than I have to for the videos. And if you are wondering, yes, God of War is still coming. I just, uh, I have a God of War completed actually. I just gotta edit the videos, so this is not a replacement for that. But I will be coming, and I just gotta get those edited and thrown onto YouTube. Alright, so. I've had a really big Donkey Kong addiction <laughs> these last couple of days. <laughs> it's kind of made me want to go replay some of the Donkey Kong games, the, the original. Get like 105% on them. Okay, so let's just keep going through here. So the main reason I wanted to do this too is because at first, you're really going to hate the, the minecart levels and the rocket levels. If you've never played this game before, you're really going to hate them. Dang it, I don't know how the heck you're supposed to get past that part without getting hit by him. Uh, you're really gonna hate those levels, and can I knock you out? No. Okay, let's have him jump high, I guess. But as time goes on, I feel like you're, they're gonna become some of your favorites just because they're a little bit less taxing, to me anyway, than these levels are. Are we already get this guy? Cool. Uh, so they're, they become kind of a break, in a way, because they're... I don't know, they're, 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 I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see once once we get there. Okay, so let's see that thing. Do we want that? Yep. Sometimes if you get all of the um, bananas in an area, you get a puzzle piece. So puzzle pieces are going to be in the weirdest places. And they're not really too much fun to get. Like I said, the puzzle pieces don't count toward the 100%, which is a little bit odd to me. I really wish they did. Did I get the O? I did, okay. I couldn't remember if I got the O or not because there's the N. Okay, so the Rhino is pretty cool. You can still get hit while you're on the Rhino, but for the most part, he's immortal. That's probably a puzzle piece because it's, I have to get off. Nope, dang. <laughs> Usually the weird out of the way things like that, the little tiny plants or whatever those are, those usually contain puzzle pieces, but not this time. Okay, here's another one. So these are just kind of weird. I don't want to get... Dang it! Didn't want that to happen. Oh well. Yeah, dealing with uh, with those barrels can be a little bit of a challenge, but that's not actually too hard, so... Unfortunately, you have to either die or... Where's the G? That. Where's the G? Where'd the G go? Oh, there it is. Um, I'm gonna come over here. So yeah, unfortunately, if you want to redo those, you have to die or restart the level. Anyway, let's just do this. Okay, and... Sorry, Rhino, you gotta stay behind. I'm also not, uh, not gonna split these videos up too much. I'm probably just gonna try to do one whole world in one video. And call that a day for recording Donkey Kong, but we'll see how I feel. This one... It's kind of a short little level, so I could buy the key to unlock that one. And I'm not going to yet, but maybe I will right away. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. I'm not going to spend the coins on anything else. Kind of weird that they threw that in here. And I don't know if... I think most people probably know this by now, but Donkey Kong is supposedly the original Donkey Kong that Mario defeated in Donkey Kong. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. 
All right, so Sunset Shore, since it's 1-4, we'll do it in this order, I guess. And the Sunset levels are kind of cool. They kind of, they, they, they had a lot of creativity fun with these games. And they're, they threw this in in the first game too. I mean, there's a whole lot of sort of homages, if you want to call it that, to the first game. And I guess some people could call that lazy because they're not coming up with new stuff, but I don't know, it's, it's fun. Um, oh yes, I'm gonna kill these birds. I don't know if the motion controls are a detriment or an upside to this game. It's not really, it's not too big of a deal shaking your controller. Oh my. It really isn't, I don't know. A lot of, a lot of people bashed the Wii throughout the years for the motion controls, but I don't really mind them too much. It gets worse with like... <laughs> I guess because I'm not that old. I'm not saying I'm old or anything, but when I was playing through the Metroid Prime series, when you buy them on the Wii, uh, which to my knowledge is the only place to get all three of them right now. I don't think they're on the Switch yet, but when you buy them on the Wii, you have to use the Wii controls for all three games, even though the first two Metroid Prime games were out on the GameCube, so they, dang it, they had nothing to do with the... Uh, uh, with the motion controls, and that's f a little bit fun. I, I mean, I didn't mind that at all for Prime 3. I mean, it fit very well with Prime 3, but, like, man, the, for the first two games, for some reason, my wrist would just start hurting when I was controlling it for all that time, and especially how precise you need to be. Your wrist is all tensed up. Oh, dear. Uh, so it was... I don't know, that, that was kind of a detriment to me. I don't know if there's a way to play those games without the Wii controller. I don't think there is without the Wii Mote, so I, I kind of... I hope that when Metroid Prime 4 comes out, they re-release those ones on the Switch and just, uh, you know, call it a call it a day. And that way we don't have to deal with the Wii version. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's down here? Okay, puzzle piece. Thought I was going to fall to my death there. Oh man, I hope Prime 4 is cool. I loved the remake of Metroid on the 3DS, whatever that one. Metroid 2, I think, is the one that they remade. I loved that so, so, so much. And I loved at the end how they had the, the hint toward Fusion, which Fusion, I don't like that much, but heck, I will take a remade Metroid game, mostly just because I want more Metroid games, dang it. And I hope they make a new one for the 3DS or something. I hope they don't make a bunch of remakes for those. I mean, I know it'd be easy at this point just because the game's already made and all they gotta do is make the graphics nicer and I'm, I'm sure a lot of work still goes into it, but come on, man, you don't gotta redesign it from the ground up anymore, so you can't tell me it's the same amount of work. Oh, crap. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I hope Metroid Prime 4 is good and I hope that they make more 3DS Metroid games. Man, the Kong letters so far are not hard to get. A little bit surprised at the uh, ease of the difficulty so far. It's thought I'd be dying a few more times. I died to just th that first level, man. I died again to the frog. It's always the dang frog. Okay, so that's a coin. We'll get as many of these as we can. Ouch. Sorry. Dang frogs, man. Sorry there, Diddy. I think we only get Diddy throughout this game. We get a whole host of other guys that we get to play with in the other uh, Donkey Kong games, but just Diddy Kong for this one. Oh my goodness. Hard to know which of these has useful things in them and which of them doesn't. Okay. So I didn't really get many of the puzzle pieces. I don't know how many we got. Two? Yeah, not many at all. <laughs> oh, that's okay though. All right, so let's go on over to 1-4. So the way these levels are designed, we can often take different paths. Holy cow, that is so much faster than the Switch version. On the Switch version, when you're going between levels, you have to uh, wait for Donkey Kong to walk, and it takes forever. <laughs> this one's a little bit, little uh, indicator, though, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, the game, the, the worlds are set up where if you have a hard time with one level, you can usually get past it by doing another one, but... You're not going to unlock the Kong levels by not doing levels, so we're going to do all of them and get all the Kong letters and then try the bosses. So the reason I mentioned the bosses earlier as being kind of annoying is because uh, I think they're the same way in this game as they are in Tropical Freeze. I don't remember yet. But for the most part, you have to hit them nine times. Oh, crap. Oh, that was... Wow, that was nice of the game. Holy crap, I am... 
done. Th th that was there. I was supposed to be dead. <laughs> anyway, you have to hit them nine times, and there's three phases. And the first two phases, in my experience, first two phases are easy. I can get through those sometimes on my first try, no problem. But it's the third phase that requires the learning, and sometimes it takes forever to get to the third phase. And the difficulty of the boss itself isn't really the big deal, it's just that it takes forever to get to the part that you keep dying at, and that's what's annoying, so... Yeah, well, we'll see when we get there. Okay, now we get some faster birdies. A little bit more annoying, but not too big of a deal. Just get all the coins, because we want 25 for uh, the keys in the later levels. And also so we can buy balloons. Hope we don't hit that. Oh my, that was close. There we go, and now we want to hit that. Cool. I don't really know why I'm going for these puzzle pieces, since I seriously doubt I'm going to be coming back for these. Okay, so there's a checkpoint. Now, the one thing that I also remember in the new Super Mario Brothers games, that they first came out on the DS, I believe, the new Super Mario Brothers on that one. And then there was one on the... On the, on the Wii? Oh crap, now I gotta die. Dang it, missed the end. Anyway, so uh, one came out on the Wii, and then Wii U, and then 3DS, and all of that stuff. Anyway, for those games, you can only save after you beat bosses, so there's there's two bosses in each, each of those. Um, there's the castle near the end of the game, and... Uh, or not the the game, the world, and then there's the castle, the midway castle, and you gotta, you can save after you beat one of those. Oh crap, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so, in this game, I'm pretty sure it saves after every level, which is, which was kind of a surprise, but it would be kind of brutal if they made you finish like three levels before you could, uh, before you could beat the game, or save your game. Especially when you have some levels like these that are just kind of kind of mean. It's barrel levels. Anything that you think is doable in this game gets worse. Oh, there's a puzzle there. Whatever. Anything in this game that you think is doable gets worse later on. They find a way to make it worse. <laughs> Believe me. So the world one isn't too bad, especially because oh dear, goodness, go go go. Uh, because I've been playing this game. Or sorry, dang it, crap, no. It waited, it went up! Like, they always throw stuff like that at you, where... <laughs> you just, you expect the game's gonna work in your favor, and it absolutely does not. So now we gotta deal with this again. But thankfully, they, they put little, which I missed it there, but they'll put balloons. So if you're if you're good enough, you should be able to get pretty much infinite tries, because you just keep it in the balloon. Uh, yeah, but believe me, I'm making the game look a little bit easy. I think we can grab that puzzle piece now, right? Oh good, yep, okay. So as I said before, if you get a puzzle piece, you don't gotta worry about, um... Uh, you don't gotta worry about it... ...not being there. You can... If you, I mean, if you die, you don't have to give it again, is what I'm trying to say here. I think I said that earlier. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on this crap. Okay, anyway, if you get a puzzle piece, you have it until you beat the level. If you leave the level, you're gonna have to get the puzzle piece again, though. So, uh, you won't have to get them more than once, if, as long as you don't leave the level. <laughs> it's kind of confusing, I know, but, uh, actually, it's not that confusing. You probably know what I mean. Whatever, whatever. Man, I don't remember this part at all. Okay, let's go there. I have died in that part right there at the end there. I have died there before, and that's, that's a lot of fun. But anyway, we got all the Kong letters, that's all that matters. I think we got one more level. In the boss fight, and I'm recording this on my laptop, so hopefully the battery doesn't die. 